Uh, stay with you with Future Trade. I want to give you a final update on your Roku. Now, we started this back on the 16th, and then I came back on the 20th, and I told you I would have to come back because they hadn't made the trend distance yet. Uh, however, they're really, really close now, so I'm going to try to catch you up on everything that I said here as well as the 16th and, and give you a possible expectancy as to how far it may continue down. So right now, this is where they're at now. All right, so the first time I gave the alert here, it was here, and of course, they you know had made the trend, and I put that there for you. I even gave you this no-close uh, level up here, and you can check the high of this over here. If this is the first time you are watching this video, you just look at the H. There's the high, 77.88. They came up here and closed uh, 77.87. So they came in one tick uh, below that high after that spike, but never breaking the high up there. And so here they're giving you your trend distance. So they're almost there. Now, they are pretty much going to continue down past here. So if if I was you, this is just me just giving you some advice. Uh, don't try to pick it up again. Don't try to pick it up again. They're confirming the trend. So you may want to let them go ahead and, you know, just do a little bit more. That's all. Because I, I doubt, even though, you know, I told you about the center of the chart being right here. I doubt when they get here, I doubt when they get here, that they'll, they'll turn around and take off again right away. So I know everybody like, you know, they like trade gaps and stuff. They they see these gaps and they that's popular right now. They want to trade them. But try to try to make sure you stay with the trend. I can't stress that enough. So. Again, you know, it may be a little, like I said, a little challenging to re resist it, you know, because it may lift a little bit because, again, that's popular and people want to do it. So you may get a lift. But if they if they do not uh, set a trend back in this direction, uh, you may run into a problem. So you got a no close here. Uh, you got a no close here with this bar's low. OK, I'm going to just put this here for you and just kind of outline some information on the way down that you may want to look out for. Uh, this bar is low, isn't touching that bar is mid. So you, you might, and, and this one, and this bar here is not touching that bar is mid. So being that the high kind of pushed up above that bar, the no close and the stop would be here. So it's both. So you're looking for a, you're looking for a no close uh, back above this bar. Okay, back above this bar, no close. No close back above here and definitely a hard, I think they can go past this, but a hard stop here. Hard, definitely a hard stop here. So and this is even this is even it too right here. So let me just put a line here. And again, I'm not coming coming back to cover this no time soon. So I'm just going to give you some information and you can kind of take it with you. Now, again, if you want to buy the gap, I know again that's popular. Uh, that's up to you. But I, I definitely want to you know go ahead and state to you: there's the trend, there's the retest. Never get back above the no close bar. And so here's here's the hard stop here because this bar's low isn't touching that bar's mid. This bar's, uh, I'm sorry, this bar's low isn't touching this bar's mid. That's a hard stop and a no close level. So even if they manage to push up, it's just right here at the no close. I mean, I'm sorry, rotation zone. They can end up pushing in here, coming back under that price level with a no close and then take off again. So when they get here, they're going to be more than likely they're going to fall beneath the center of the chart. So you may have to see what can happen because I actually do think that they are past this area and Yes, if they get past here, they may do exactly what the Aussie, and I'll show you all of that because we covered that too. Uh, it's, it's just like when we we had covered this, all right? So on the 20th, if I came back and, and showed you this too, that they made the distance and all that, I just didn't mark the 20th on the chart. But I gave you I gave you the six bar, and I told you, you know, price was here, and there's the rotation zone. They haven't came back yet. Here's the pound, same thing. I even told you I expected new highs, but they never came back. So once they set that trend, there's a good chance you don't want to stand in front of that trying to, I don't know, buy gaps or whatever. You, you might want to stay away from that information and just go ahead and play the direction of the trend. So I wish you all the best with your trading. If you're uh, new to the channel and you're not, uh, of course, familiar with anything that I, I do, uh, you can ask questions. I don't have no problem answering them. Uh, we have a universal price trend. That's kind of what I just showed you there, this, you know, the seven bar count. And then we have the universal price action uh, method. So this is something that will show up in any in any uh, kind of trade you take. I guarantee you it's not going to get down the board without it. So that's the universal price action method here where the bar low isn't touching this bar is mid. And you don't have to wait till the bar close. I want to make sure I state that if that bar is mid fall below the low of this bar, you can go ahead and get in hard stop there and take the trade. So don't be so eager to try to keep picking it up. I know people like to buy stuff when it's down and sell it when it's up. But I want to make sure that you understand when trends are set, they will run you over. All right. So I wish you all the best with your trading. Take care.